some individuals illegally renovate shopping come residential complex of PDL Lumfell as home. Authority fails to look into the matter. A very good evening. Welcome to Ice to English News at 7. Now the news in detail. Some individuals have renovated shopping come residential complex of PDL Lumfell as their home against the rule. No authority concerned has looked into the matter. Upon investigation by ISTV News, the two-story building earlier which the ground floor used to be shop and the first floor used to be residence have been renovated. People have built additional floor. There is a huge difference between the structures of the building in comparison with the older buildings of the complex. Some people even have kitchen garden in front of the shops. However, no authority concerned since the previous government has looked into the same. People of the surrounding areas opposed that the complex turned into such condition because of the failure of timely intervention from the government. Speaking to ISTV News, Secretary of PDA Koijam Gyanisho stated that steps have been initiated to take action against the same. Lampelle uh, was so come residential complex. So come residential complex, my terms and conditions are not going as I any structure, harness, harm, structures, must be shampoo, sergeant, kaki, toba, adagi, common portion, the individual, individual, elotina, shin, shin, abo, kot, pipes, amta yard, abani, niung, matungina. Any case in Karigumba, swaps in Dumuena, Kara, shampoo, shin, in Kara, of Gihalakazu, return permission, ama, sangi. As a return permission, Lautuna, Sariba, shampoo, shin, in Toriba, Matata, Vertical expansion to riba or horizontal expansion to riba. High risk in the loina illegally, masi equina of the Ancona, masi action log noba, mamang the zoo cover paper, the masi to begin with the Ampong Rabbani, other sum, masi to put a lepti, a lepto, madam Zina, Sagi, Quigi, Zikis, so conventional complex key, Magi, design the archival lacony, other masi. The secretary further warned to those concerned to remove the illegal structures in the complex at the earliest. So come residential complex that the structurally a kai to ba adumba situation yamna uh wu pange adumasi Eloti, Eloti, Sokon Recessal Complex, Elotisna, Masi Kangirga, Isai Sana, Tuna, Shirok Binaba, I was the great ISTB Kutang, I may am the appeal to Yari, otherwise saying PDNA, a quaggy action of Mutam, Hena, Aduna, damage, we can Isai Sagi properties, Aduna, Matam, Dangeda, Yam Tuna, Masi, Shirok Binaba, Adi Queen Azu. Legal action, legal action, situation, complex, individual, a pamba, the Despite PDS claim to remove illegal structures in the complex, there is still a question as to how far it will be successful. Capping come lem lighting ceremony of School of AM FHW under the Medical Directorate was held at Nurses Hostel No. 1 in Sanakai Tel today. Director of Health Services Dr. K. Raju, Additional Director P. Sham Sundar, Nursing Superintendent Janims P. Landoni were among those present on the occasion. Principal of Nursing School T. H. Radisham stated the staff faced a lot of inconveniences as they have not been regularized for a long time. Director of Health Services Dr. K. Raju stated that those in profession of nursing need to be courageous and hard working. Zagasi Ketan Sotan and Iba. As I get teaching staff to Borzo, Contain Atoiba, the Yuki building Pazitaba, Luna, Yuatpa, Smite of the infrastructure Patabasi, for the big and leggy, one of my embassy, when you come in to be a gate, what is again? A quick building Matan, so I know the car Pukasava the key, when you're building in the center car loads of Kotra, where you're under car. Pakapadi Hore, Masisim with the Badi Amyaba, 
A six days kill training program on post harvest processing and packaging of fruit and vegetable kicked off at the whole of KVK Chandil. The inaugural session was inaugurated by member of Autonomous District Council Chandil S.H. Mangle Monsang, senior scientist of KVK Chandil Dr. Deepak Singh and T.S. Behari Monsang of Monsang Pankha village were also present at the training program. Moray police and Moray commandos seized 33 bottles of foreign liquor that were brought from Namfa Long Market. The liquor is estimated to be worth approximately 1.5 lakh rupees transported by a person who runs errands. On the other hand, a team of Thaubal police seized local liquor and materials used in the production of liquor in a drive conducted at Langmaitil Maning Lekai. The arrested persons along with the seized materials were produced before media persons at Yairipo Excise Office today. An awareness program come screening camp on diabetes, thyroid and cholesterol diseases was held at 26 Assam Rifles post of Yairipok Bisnu Naha. The program was jointly organized by the National Health Mission Manipur and 26 Assam Rifles. Around 100 persons were examined at the camp and medicines were also distributed. Secretary of Bisnu Naha Youth Federation Yairipok Bomcha said the camp was organized to provide healthcare facilities to the needy villagers. One day state level media sensitization workshop on present trends of hepatitis C in Manipur was held at Classic Grand Day Chingmeirong. The sensitization workshop was organized by Community Network for Empowerment Con. Media fraternity from different firms in Manipur attended the workshop. The workshop was organized with an objective to make the people aware about hepatitis C. Project coordinator of Con Pramod Ningombam said hepatitis C has given a major impact to the society globally. Millions of people have been affected by hepatitis C. In Manipur, special attention has been needed to prevent from the disease. As such, the media sensitization workshop has been organized. President of Korn, Nalini Kanta Rajkumar said, impacts of TB, malaria and HIV AIDS have been controlled to an extent globally. Meanwhile, number of people affected by hepatitis C has been increasingly tremendously based on World Health Organization report. Out of 71 million people affected by hepatitis C, only 5% are aware that they are affected by the disease. In Manipur, too, 49% among drug users and 1.5% from common people are reported. He said media has a major role to make the people aware about hepatitis C. Now it's time for a very short break. We'll be right back with more news. Stay tuned. Services tax GST da register the Wiraba. Taxpayer kuding makna. Matam chana GSTR 3B monthly return file the Wiraba. February thagi GSTR 3B returned file the Wiraba. Arrive no miti. Lakliba March kitang kundani. Sale chang dana return file the Wiraba. Wiraba makta. Old Guwahati High Court Building North AOC Department gi Facilitation Center the Lakpi duna return file the Wiraba. Kanganjari ba Department of Texas Government of Manipur. Welcome back. Now moving on. A team of Imphal West Commando under the supervision of additional SP operations, Aribam Ghanashyam, conducted cordon and such operation at Wahingbam Lekai and Jiri Parking. Altogether, 400 persons were verified at the spot and 17 were handed over to city police for further verification. 
As part of the security measures taken up by police in view of upcoming Lok Sabha election, police apprehended a person along with 200 litres of local liquor from Atokpa Mayai Lekai. The man has been identified as Moirangtem Indra. The arrested person along with the seized liquor was handed over to excise department for further investigation. Aina Battalion under Churachanpur sector apprehended seven hardcore cadres of Ma People's Convention along with large quantities of arms, ammunition, communication equipment, documents, vehicles and other war-like stores in a search operation conducted in Parbung and Lungtulen and the Fajol district on March 14. The seized weapons were one M4 rifle, two magazines, four AK-56 rifles, 12 magazines, 262 bullets of AK-56 rifle, 110 bullets of M4, 3 Kenwood radio sets, 3 bags, 3 combat dress, 2 mobile phones, 1 Bolero, 1 Tata DI and 20 pencil cell batteries. The apprehended insurgents and recovered arms were handed over to Churachanpur police station. From the detailed investigation, it was revealed that the insurgents were likely to establish a camp in Pabung, Lungtulen region to intervene in the smooth conduct of the upcoming general elections by establishing their dominance in that area. The sophisticated weapons and war-like stores recovered from them indicate their plan of likely action against the security forces in the region. The documents recovered from them clearly revealed of large-scale tax collection carried by them in the Fajol district. Over 303 saplings were planted in NIT complex, Lumpel Park, sponsored by Lions Club of Man Imphal City. President of Lions Club of Imphal, Lion Mahendra Pratap and Registrar of NIT, K.H. Manglem were among those present on the occasion. A five-day farmer's training program on operational guidelines of farmer producer company kicked off from today at Ibudo Margin Kubam Community Hall, Hingang. Director of Agriculture, Lal Tanpui Vanchong, Consultant of Modern Apiculture, A. Tarakesho, and Project Coordinator of Manipur Small Farmers Agri Business Consortium, MS Kaidem, are present at the inaugural session of the training program. A. Tarakesho intimated on how beekeeping help in doubling farmers' income. Project Coordinator, MS Kaidem, apprised on the topic of how to set up farmers' club, basic necessities for gaining livelihood, and how to withdraw loans from banks. He further apprised the farmers were engaged in beekeeping to grow necessary food for bees in order to produce adequate amount of honey. A CMHT card holder who had a head surgery at Raj Medicity is being held at the hospital after the surgery as the patient cannot pay money for his treatment. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club, mother of the patient Wang Kambam Sisima Sat, her son Wang Kambam Joytandra, 25 years, son of Wang Kambam Sanjit from Pungdongbam Awang Lekai, has been admitted to Jenims on March 10 due to a head injury but later referred to RIMS, saying his condition was critical. Wang Kambam Sistema added that after RIMS authority has informed that there is no facility for head surgery and told them to take to Raj Sijo Hospital or Raj Medicity, Joy Chandra was taken to Raj Medicity and started the treatment there. Wang Kambam Sistema further contacted the Raj Medicity authorities for acquiring benefits under CMH card, but the authorities concerned declined by saying that there is no facility for CMH card in the hospital. Wang Kambam Sistema sought the attention of the state government to look into the matter at the earliest. The <laughs> Now the international news. Amid global pressure on Pakistan to act against terror operators active on its soil, the Indian intelligence agencies have exposed Islamabad's new game plan to spread havoc in India. According to the inputs gathered by the Indian intelligence agencies, Pakistan's notorious spy agency ISI is exploring new ways to execute its nefarious anti-Indian designs and for that it has started efforts to bring between 
Together, the two deadly terrorist outfits, Jays and Taliban. It has now come to light that much before the IAF airstrikes in Pakistan's Balakot, the top commanders of Jays, Taliban and the Haqqani network had held a secret meeting in Pakistan. During the secret meeting, it was agreed that the fighters of Jays, Taliban and the Haqqani network will jointly wage a jihad against India. The top commanders of the three terrorist outfits decided to carry out joint terror strikes in parts of India and Afghanistan to unleash terror and mayhem. In view of the intelligence warning, the Indian security agencies have been keeping a hawk's eye on the terror activities of these outfits. The 28-year-old men suspect in mass shootings at two New Zealand mosques yesterday that killed 49 people and injured dozens was produced in court a day after the attacks. Brenton Harrison Tarrant, an Australian citizen, appeared before a local court in Christchurch today on murder charges and was sent to jail until his next scheduled appearance in the South Island City's High Court on April 5th. Handcuffed, barefoot, wearing a white prison suit, Tarrant did not speak. Flanked by two police officers, he smirked when media persons photographed him during the hearing and was seen making the wide power gesture, New Zealand reported. Throughout the hearing, Brenton Tarrant, who had a cut on his upper lip, remained silent and looked at the media persons in the public gallery. His court-appointed lawyer made no application for bail or name suppression. He was likely to face further charges, police said. Nine people from India or of Indian origin have been missing, the Indian envoy in New Zealand has said. Two Indians have died in the attacks. A third person is battling for his life, Asad Udin OIC, the leader of AIMIM, said. The attack which Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern labelled as terrorism was the worst ever peacetime mass killing in New Zealand and the country raised its security threat level to the highest. She said the country's gun laws will be changed and toughened after the attack. Tarrant obtained a Category A gun license in November 2017 and began purchasing the five weapons used in Friday's attacks the following month, she said. The firearms included two semi-automatic rifles, two shotguns and a lever action weapon. He live-streamed footage of him going room to room, victim to victim, shooting people from close range as they struggle to crawl away. And now before we close that line once again. Some individuals illegally renovate shopping come residential complex of PDA Lumpella's home. Authority fails to look into the matter. That's all we have in this edition of news. Thank you for watching and have a good night.